Look at this one more time. One more time all the way through. Look at this. This is legitimately one of those, if I'm going down, you're going down moments. This is what it feels like to me. This is, again, the first show after everything that's transpired. Um, you know, him putting out that video, trying to get ahead of things. Candace Owens burying him in her own way. Um, the ring video video coming out. Him firing back saying that he's going to expose his wife for being a psycho behind the scenes. Candace Owens came back again saying that he had selective surgery um, or cosmetic surgeries for his chest because, you know, he was afraid to look at too much like a bird's chest, whatever it may be. And the first show back, he decides to force Kellen into making this very crude, very unnecessary, um, and very inappropriate, considering Rogan's, considering Kellen's position, rape joke. Seven plus one. This is this week's seven plus one uh, things progressives say before and possibly during sex. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number seven, Brian Callen, let's kick this off. Be gentle. I haven't decided if this is rape yet. Oh, yeah. Look at Callan's face. Yeah, that's a <laughs> that's the same that's the same smile or the same kind of dead behind the eyes smile Callan had when he was trying to apologize or explain why he did not rape anybody, based on the allegation in the LA Times article, right? That kind of like you know manic sort of like crazed smile on his face. That's the same thing that he had. That dead behind the eyes smile of like oh shit we're going there oh shit it's really over oh shit i'm not coming back from this oh shit i've got to ask my dad for money again right that's the kind of thing that he was in and crowder has a kind of mischievous see i told you look at crowder's face uh, when it plays look at crowder's I think face. a little more volume on the seven plus one there yeah. look how happy he is crowder's legitimately happy that he got flipping callan ensnared into his flipping vortex of absolute degeneracy. This is what these people are. Absolutely heinous. But again, Callan only has himself to blame. Callan only has himself to blame. What an absolute shit show of a situation. All in. And I think the final kind of part of this, which I don't have a clip for, but you know, it's all the things about him getting plastic surgery or you know, sorry, getting some sort of cosmetic surgery because he was born with some sort of condition that means that his chest um looks a certain way. It kind of has a bit of a concave in it. And I guess because he works out so much, he didn't feel like his chest looked good and he wanted to basically get it to look great. And he decided to have some sort of surgery that could kind of help him with that. But then when he was on stream or when the update videos, you know, those dramatic ones he was doing where he used to hop into bed and shit, he was making it seem like he had some sort of heart issue when that's not what he had. It was some sort of cosmetic surgery, which is, you know, classic sort of right wing grift and sort of shit in it, right? Always a victim, always trying to flip and paint the narrative and make it seem like it's something else. So what can you do with that? But yeah crazy situation um i'm not gonna lie i don't feel bad for canon in the slightest i feel like anybody with a brain um many people online especially commenters and stuff were saying that crowder was a bit of a wrong one. and i feel like depending especially when you think about what can has gone through him trying to hitch his wagon to crowder was dumb and even if crowder wasn't a piece of shit the fact that canon tried to spin himself as some sort of right wing sort of you know comedian guy was really dumb because he's not that guy anyway he doesn't really hold any true conservative opinions beliefs or anything along that kind of way he's only now trying to do the right wing grift because he got cancelled and the only people that will engage with people who have been cancelled or have some sort of mature grown up debate about cancel culture are conservatives right in kind of media or in content creations when it comes to flipping the left or people that he was kind of associated with or liberals whatnot they just don't want to have that conversation they just kind of write you off so of course he's going to align himself with those people but it doesn't mean he actually believes it he does not believe it at all the only people that will talk to him each other latch he's ragging onto it and now he's paying the ultimate price because now you would imagine considering everything that's going on more than likely he's gonna to have to depend on the fucking generosity of brendan for a long 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 time now that <laughs> this situation is the way it is it really is going to be like that you'd feel like that i think so but anyway what can you do 